Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with some more of, well, not really the some more, because this is the end of the series. Our first Road to the League in FM22. We ended with Sheffield United. We'll go through the season review. Nothing crazy. We did miss out uh, by a lot, actually, of even making European football for next year. So we'll kind of skim through here. Nothing crazy. We aren't really worried about what feelings of the managers in FM22. Uh, transfers in, transfers out. Nothing crazy. The results? We got a mid table finish. I think with one more year, we'd have Champions League, but that would mean to have Champions, or not Champions League, but uh, European football. But in order to get European football, well, we'd have to play another season after that. And with FM23 coming out like a week, with some change officially, and we want to be ready to start that series. So we get an 11. 11th uh, place finish here in the table. Chelsea uh, wins the table outright. We are, looks like, 14 points from uh, uh, from Aston Villa. And even them probably will lose it on a gold differential. We had a lot of draws, though. 11 draws. That didn't help us with a lot of things. We make maybe half of those... Uh, wins instead of draws we are likely up here probably with Tottenham Europa League I mean Juventus we let this goal off a mistake by the keeper off my tactics then we lose this and again we give it up a late goal and that allow us uh, to actually go into a penalty kick matchup where in penalties anything can go we allowed that goal in extra time FA Cup I mean Manchester United we drew them first and they just dis destroyed us I mean it doesn't look that way in the score sheet 2-1 but they just they were I'm surprised they didn't actually score four goals on us there EFL Cup, Mr. Post, man. I think this was the game we hit the post like four or five times. It's Reading. Just couldn't convert those into goals. And the Community Shield is just a fun little thing. Biggest win was a 4-0 win over Liverpool, which was hilarious because I was not expecting that. I actually remember a 4-2 win over West Ham. And goal of the season was a powerful strike by Johnson that actually started the scoring affair against Brighton and Hove Albion. But that was one we should have won. And well, giving up that many goals to one guy, it's not great. The money, money is all right. I mean, it's kind of going through. Nothing crazy. How I lined up the majority of the year. We finally got some partnerships, things like that, but we just tried to change it up a little bit because what we were doing just wasn't crazy. Uh, youngest player was uh, Regan uh, Burra. I thought he played pretty decent when called upon. Um, our young player of the season was Daniel Rojo. He was also the signing. He was also the top goal scorer, most assists by Andy Love, most man of the matches, Norberto Solor or Soler. I mean, nothing crazy there. Fans' favorite player, though, is Daniel Rojo. Makes sense. So that was the key thing now. If we were playing again, this is what they would ask. Still trying to avoid relegation, even though. 
We got a couple things. We're not going to worry about that. Because we are going to go through and look through all the places we have been in this series. So there's not going to be any music for this one. We started at St. Andrews. We were sacked. I mean, not much we could do there. Buckhurst Hill? Is there like a information? My history, here it is. Strike a milestone. Here we go. We were hired there. We got fired. Pretty much in the following year, September. Uh, but Crystal, we took that job in December. We got a couple uh, managers. We got our season run up there. In 2025, we won the league there. I think that was a. Oh, we didn't win the league there. We actually got promoted. I don't know. We did win the league there because if it was promoted, it would say that. So we won the league there with Buckhurst Hill. We got the manager of the season. Following year, we take Buckhurst Hill and get promoted off playoffs. And then we resigned as head the following year in November to take over the position at Dartford. At Dartford, we come in, we get promoted in two years later after being head coach. Taking that one. I don't think of with Buckers Hill. Can we look at we can. So Probably more so with Darford, but we're gonna see how that is. Darford, we got them promoted in 2028 off a of playoff, finishing third in Vanarama League, uh, National League South. We get the head coach of the season there. Following year, uh, two years later, we get promoted there up into Skybet League two. Then we get an FA Kofi, a trophy winner. Nice. So, the trophy there. And we had the league uh, coach of the year. In uh, 2032. So, another two years later, we finished third in the Skybet League 2. There were three promotion spots. We got promoted there. Go up to League 1. We win the EFL trophy in 2033. It gets us the job here at Sheffield United in a mad dash of trying to get something going in our final season. We do win the FA Cup, which gives us European football, but we do absolutely nothing with it. Here's our managers here. All of our transfers. Wow, that's all of our transfers. All of our job changes. All of our competitions. That's all the stuff there. Or any, uh, here it is. The competitions. So that was Eastern League. That was a division win. We had the Venerama. This is the FA Trophy. So we got that there as finished first. EFL Trophy there. So it kind of sees how we did. We kind of had a wave up and down. St. Andrews was a mid table and then uh, 20th and get fired. Uh, then 10th, 2nd, then technically the under 23s, we took charge of that because that was created then in the under 18s. Buckers still, we get first, then a fourth in the Essex Senior League, then the 13th in the uh, that was a promotion, 13th here before we move up, 
Darfur finished eighth and third. I think we missed out on a playoff there. Or we lost. Or no, that was a promotion in the third. We get a mid table finish and then we take a first. Almost in relegation. Then we get promoted. You can just see the the pattern. We come up, we do bad. We come up, we do, we take the job. The next year we win. The next year we win. And then the next year it's a mid table. But somehow win. Uh, squeeze it out to win mid table. It kind of gets the pattern in here with Darford. The mid table promotion. Mid table promotion. The table promotion. The table promotion. But Darford actually didn't get promoted in this one. Here, did they get promoted this year though? Darford finished 19th. Looking at the players they still have on the roster. I mean, this is a team that should have been better than that. At least in my opinion, should have been better. It's like we should have been better, but they fired their manager at that. We have some good stuff with that. Looking at the silliness though, I do want to look at the relegation, West Bromwich, Albion, the Wolves, and Fulham. Both get re relegated down. If we were playing one more season. That would mean the Skybet League champion. So promotion in Bristol City, Bournemouth comes back up. You got a playoff between Nottingham Forest, Crystal Palace, Sutherland, Brentford. All of these teams have been up at the Premier League. So nothing insane like that. Pretty much a fill of teams that have been up the Premier League before. Trying to kind of just sitting on that scale, that line where they get promotion. This season though, that first four games we started out with a bang and then it just went bad. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Looking at the schedule. Yeah. Big win over Liverpool. Big win over West Ham. Big win over Fulham. And then it just dropped. It just started failing from here. Winning games that we should have won. I mean, that's really pretty much it. Round this series, I did have fun in this. We obviously will be doing a... Another uh, Road to the League, but I think every year I'm going to switch it up. So, like this year was a Journeyman's Road to the League. Next year will be a one team Road to the League save. Maybe the next year will be uh, a Road to Europe kind of save. Where the idea is to kind of bounce around Europe and let the entire continent be our kind of run up until we get our way to a job at the Premier League or one of the uh, big clubs and then kind of see what that ultimately getting ourselves up as high as possible and kind of doing one of those saves would be cool. We also have the idea of having a uh, Pentagon save, which is when the uh, regional... Uh, competition in every continent so in Europe it's the Champions League in say Brazil not sure what the cup's called see the competitions This one Do they not have Oh, huh. I thought Brazil had one I know the US Has that
really. Give me Mexico. They play against Mexico. Give me Mexico. Do you have the North American Champions League? And who plays in this? Central America. So it's not South America. So you have like this one here, which is the North American uh, League there. I just where there's like a South American Cup. That's a National League. Maybe Chile plays in it. I always thought there was. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's this one. So the Copa uh, Libertadores is the one that is between all the teams in South America. So the idea is you win all of these cups that are inner continent. And so you would do that and then say like, I don't remember what Japan says. I'm not even sure. It's the Asian Champions League there. So you would take a team and you'd play the Asian Champions League and you would want to win. They would do Africa and then you kind of bounce around like that. That's kind of considered what a uh, pyramid save is, which each one of these end up doing that. My ultimate goal for the Wrexham save, though, is none other than, what is it, FIFA Club? FIFA Club World Cup is to win this champion, uh, this, this, uh, this, which means you have to win, you have to get up in the table, you have to win the Champions League in Europe. Then for the Champions League, then you come over here and then you got to play it. So it's a three year struggle of things to get to this. So that's going to be a goal in the Wrexham save. It's going to be a goal, obviously, in the Austrian one. But that one will have a little bit different rule set because it's a lot easier to operate in Austria. And it's going to be a lot more fun thanks for hanging out for the series guys uh we still have our beta saves going on we have everything with the stream as well the stream franchises we have all that so there's still going to be some more football manager for you coming up so thanks for hanging out let's bid farewell to fm 22 you were good to us but now it's time to completely transition to FM 23. Thank y'all for joining me. Go leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.